Hey guys, welcome back. Last video we opened 20 packs plus one golden pack. We opened three legendaries if you could believe it. Three. One golden one. We have 60 packs left and four golden packs. We're opening up this Fractured in Alterac Valley. And let's see, let's just get right to the opening because that's what you guys are here for. And like I said, I'll stop for any cards that pique my interest, ones I've played in duels before, or just uh, epics or legendaries that I happen to pull. Yeah. Two rares. Uh, let's see, have I played any of these? No, but I got a playset of the Iron Deep Trogs. Windchill's pretty nice. Arcane Brilliance is insane if you have a lot of ten co like high cost spells in your deck. And I might actually have a wild deck that can use that card. Moving on. Oh, an epic. What is this epic? Ice Trap. Okay. Hunter's finally getting a new trap. This is Ice Trap. For two mana, it's a secret. Uh, when your opponent casts a spell, return it to the hand instead, and it costs one more. So the Hunter's not only getting a counter spell, but it's increasing the price of the card. So that can really, really mess up the flow of an opponent's turn, and I love it. Hopefully, I get a play set. And I know last video I said that I wanted Scabs. Correction, I want Tavish. Tavish is who I want. Oh, look at a nice little Christmas theme for December. Yeah. Got a place to have Dire Frost Wolves. Uh, Death Rattle, summon a 2 2 wolf with stealth. So, before Manny getting uh, six, a 6 6 body, pretty much. That ain't bad at all. And some uh, good Death Rattle synergy. Got ourselves a rare here. Undying Disciple. Death uh, Taunt, Death Rattle, it's 3-7. Deal damage equal to this minion's attack to all enemy minions. That's pretty good. Especially if you have some kind of uh, resurrection spell. I like it. I I want to see... When it, when it first was around, I hated Res Priest, but I want to see a comeback of it. Just so I could beat it again. Man. Let's try, check out this Sleep Breaker here. Battle Cry. Add a Wind Chill to your hand. Now I don't know what a Wind Chill is, but I assume it's a 1 1 elemental that freezes enemies. Or maybe just a spell that freezes enemies. Uh, Shaman needs a lot of freeze spells because before this, they only had one uh, frost spell in their repertoire. And with this set, they certainly are getting it. Oh, we got an epic. What's this? Frozen Buckler. Oh, cool. That's the second Frozen Buckler we got. I might have to make some kind of defensive warrior deck. What's the rare here? The Dun Baldar Bridge. I played this. I had the opportunity to play this card in a uh, Silver Hand uh, themed Paladin Quest duels deck, and it was absolutely amazing. I'm playing all these Silver Hand recruits and getting plus two, plus two when I'm summoning them. It's so, so good. Nothing your opponents could do about it. And then. Once it wears out, then you can start buffing up your Silver Hand Recruits with other ways. Uh, especially, I think, Men at Arms, I think, is a good one uh, in Paladin Duels. I can go on about Duels forever, so I will stop there. But, good card. I know from experience. Alright, let's check out this Legionnaire here. It's a 6 mana 9-3, and Death Rattle will give all minions in your hand plus 2 plus 2. A lot of good Death Rattle synergy, especially in these uh, all-class cards. 
That's something great to look for in a uh, duels or arena type situation. Uh, Templar Captain. I was actually able to play this guy too. At the time I played him though, he was an 11-11 because of hand buffs and stuff like that. But he's an 8-8 eight, eight for 8 with Rush, and after it attacks, a minion, summon a 5-5 five, five defender with taunt. So, pretty much, if there's like a, a dude on the other side of the map, you're getting an 8-8. Eight, eight. You're attacking that dude, you're getting a 5-5. Five, five. So, for 8 mana you're getting a 13-13 plus the ability, or the chance to attack again next turn to get another 5-5. Five, five. And when, since those 5-5s five are taunts, this guy is going to be very, very sticky. Oh, an epic. And two rares. What could this epic be? This epic is Spring the Trap. For four mana, deal three damage to a minion and cast a secret from your deck. Now, if you do an honorable kill, and I don't know if I covered honorable kills in the first video, what an honorable kill is, if the dude you're attacking or dealing damage to has exactly the amount of life left that you're dealing damage. For instance, if he has three health left and you're dealing three damage to him, it'll be an honorable kill because you're not overkilling him. And then that, that triggers the honorable kill, which then is cast two. Instead of the cast one secret, which is very good. We are halfway through this second round of packs. No legendaries yet. But, speak of the devil. Speak of the devil. We got a legendary. Now what could this be? Tavish. Golden legendary. Another golden. And it's a Baron Glacier. Baron Glacier. <laughs> For those of you without, without the accent, 6-6 uh, six, six elemental for 7 mana. Now, this is actually amazing. Battle cry for each frost spell you've cast this game, summon a 3-4 elemental that freezes. So this could be a make or break situation, especially if you're playing frost shaman. I don't know many frost shaman spells yet, but I'm sure there's plenty. And I'm sure that this guy will find a way into many a deck. And a golden one is so, so good. I don't know, I think making videos for this for YouTube is is giving me some luck with this pack opening. I think that's four legendaries now, two golden. Let's move on. Can we get another one by the end of this video? We will see. We will see. Ram. Uh, I think we've seen all these before. I'll check out Ram Tamer though for three minutes to four three. But if you have a secret and a lot of Hunter spells are going to be playing, or a lot of Hunter decks are playing secrets, it will not only get plus one plus one, but also get stealth, so it'll be a 5 4 for three mana with stealth. Very easy to have a nice big dude with stealth. Another legendary! You guys, you guys are good luck. Ice Blood Garrison. And what could this be? There he is. There's the man himself. Beast Stalker Tavish. Now this guy's a 6 mana hunter. Uh, hero. 5 uh, health. Or armor that gets added to you. And the battle cry is discover and cast 2 improved secrets. Now he's a whole list of secrets. And pretty much there are all the hunter secrets that are in standard. But, at the same time, it also includes the ice. The new one, I forget what it's called. I forget what it's called, but it's the pretty much a counter spell secret, and they are pumped up in uh, either do more damage or the spells cost more. And I'm definitely going to be playing this guy in the deck uh, on stream one of these days. So that is number five, Tavish the Beast Stalker. I'm telling you, you guys are lucky. You guys. Will there be another? I got a golden. What's the rare here? Contraband Stash. Now this, this will be in my rogue deck, especially if it's a Burgle rogue deck. Five mana, replay five cards from other classes you play this game. So much value in this, because if you're playing cards, if you play one card that's five mana for five, and you know what it is, you're golden. If you're playing five mana, or five spells that you've played from other classes, 
for five mana. This is pretty much like a mini Yogg box for Rogue, and I'm all about it. Epic. What's this epic here? Frozen Mammoth. Alright, 4 mana for 6 7. This is frozen until you cast a fire spell. Okay, so a 4 mana 6 7, you gotta melt it. I love the flavor. Melt it, and then becomes a, uh, a 6 7. That could attack and everything. And I'm sure you could find ways around it too. Maybe in a beast, in a warrior duels, you could force it to attack other things while it's still frozen. Pretty interesting card. I love the flavor of it. Alright. You know what's funny? I think last set I opened up packs for. I only got five uh, legendaries in. So I'm pretty happy with what I got so far. And let's check, check out this Grave Defile here. For one mana, it's a 2 1 Battle Cry. Copy a Fell spell in your hand. It's very plain, very simple. But if you got a good fell spell in your hand, and you got a copy of it. <laughs> That's all I can say about that. Another another basic one over here, but let's talk about this gnome private. One mana, one three, with an honorable kill that gains two attack. So this is gonna be fun and a little bit tedious to play around, but if you can kill a one one, it then becomes a three three. If you can kill a a 3 health minion, then it becomes a 5-3, so on and so forth. This thing would probably be killing minions more than uh, hitting face of the opponent, but it's always, they gotta deal with it or else they'll get big, given the uh, situation. And we're down to our last three packs of this second video. Will there be a legendary in these last three packs? Let's find out. The answer is yes. Yes, there will be. A resounding yes. This is absolutely insane. This is so many legendaries. Legendary. Oh, and it's another hero. It's Magister Dawngrasp. So, it's an 8 mana hero. 5. Battle Cry. Recast a spell from each spell school you've casted this game. So, like I said, this one's almost like a mini Yogg, too. In all honesty, I don't know what the hero power does. I'm going to have to look it up later on and get back to you guys about it. I'm just happy I pulled it. Like I said, Tavish was my main guy. I got Tavish. I'm happy with it. We got two more packs. Can I get greedy? Can I get another uh, another legendary in this video? No. Golden rare though. Let's check out Shield Shatter. Uh, 10 mana. That's a lot for a warrior spell. Deal, oh, it's a frost spell, too. Deal five damage to all minions. Cost one less for each armor you have. Oh, okay. So if you're playing a, a warrior control deck, you got a lot of armor. This could be a free five damage. A free board wipe. Uh, if the situation arises. Last pack. Last pack right here. Epic. I'll take it. And a golden rare. What's this epic? Uh, the Frost Saber Matriarch. It's a druid beast. 7 mana for 4 or 5 and has taunt. And it costs 1 less for each beast you've summoned this game. It's pretty straightforward. I mean, it could be a, a free 4 or 5. I'm not mispronouncing 3. It could be a free 4 or 5 beast. Uh, if you play your cards right, most literally. Now, that was the last basic pack of this uh, opening. But, as you know... We got a golden pack to deal with too, so let's crack this bad boy open and let's see what we get. Anytime now, game. Anytime now. Come on. Come on. Oh. There we go. No legendaries this time. But let's check out Heart of the Wild. Give a minion plus two plus two then give your beasts plus one plus one pretty good pump up card for the druid especially if you have uh... treants oh no i'm sorry you want beasts for this one don't you Ah, whatever anyway guys 
that's the second video in this set. Remember, there's going to be two more videos coming up out of this four video series of my pack openings. Uh, it's going to be 20 packs every video, plus the one extra golden pack. And at the end, at the last video, we're going to crack open the two extra golden packs. So, thank you guys for coming, and I'll see you guys in the next video.